It's the fair, first major accord between Havana and Washington since the diplomatic thaw, the United States and Cuba have signed an agreement to protect marine life in the waters that separate the two countries. CCTV's Michael Voss has the details. An open-air photo exhibition opened in Havana this week, showing some of the natural wonders found beneath the seas around Cuba. It's a joint project sponsored by a U.S. environmental group. If there's one thing the two countries share, it's the waters of the Caribbean. Both sides face similar challenges, preserving marine life from the impact of climate change, overfishing and industrial development. Now, the United States and Cuba have signed a formal agreement to work together to protect the marine environment. It's the first such accord since the two countries restored diplomatic relations. This is one of the most exciting results of the newly opened relationship between the United States and Cuba. It affords us an unprecedented opportunity to collaborate. Working together and learning together, we can develop the best ways to protect some of the world's most outstanding marine environments for generations to come. U.S. marine scientists have been allowed to work with their Cuban counterparts for several years now, for example, tagging sharks to understand their movements. One Cuban shark recently ended up off the coast of New York. This new agreement will initially concentrate on two national marine sanctuaries in each country. Let's hope that this document is the start of a sustained process of exchange that allows us to do scientific research and share the best practices in the areas of common interest for the benefit of our nations, the region and the world. This cooperation on the marine environment could soon be followed by several other accords. U.S. and Cuban officials are said to be close to signing off on several areas of mutual interest, including anti-narcotics cooperation and the first scheduled flights to Cuba for more than 50 years. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.